How are we doing guys? So today I'm deciding to go on venture off on my own. Uh, usually I'm intruding on private spaces with my good friend Mr John. Um, but since he's all the way back at home and we've just had a very long weekend, I decided to do this on my own. So as you may be able to tell that I'm not actually driving for once, I'm getting an assist off my good friend. We won't name drop, so I don't know if he's that interested. Oh, fuck. You don't give a fuck. Oh, Mr. Alex, the housemate, has uh, decided that he'll give me a lift into where I'm heading today, which is an old abandoned hospital. It's Streatham Memorial Hospital. It's had a lot of activity recently from a few videos and Facebook posts. It's just, for some reason, it's been abandoned for years, and now everyone's decided they want to go and have a little venture inside. So I guess it's a white bandwagon. By the way, I'm on the way. So I'll catch you on the inside. So what I'm going to do is venture through to the little courtyard and get back in from a way that I saw from a sneaky scope out yesterday. So in we go. It is very, very breezy in here. Why have people done this? Look at it. Changing rooms. Could have been where the x ray machine was, and that would have been their safety booth. Stop them being exposed to the rays, would all be leaded glass, stop any of the x ray radiation penetrating. not doing his job properly. So, a consulting room. As everywhere else has been destroyed. I think this might be a bit of water damage. But still, I won't put it past people ripping the ceilings down. So, the old reception. Old reception Mr. Carvey. This one, Cammy. An old reception deck. Ooh, is that an EpiPen? X-ray films. So, so eerie. People remember. Oh 
wow. No coffee and sugar. It's not real. When I touch you. Wow. I can't possibly. I thought there's still gonna be files with people's information, which would be very, very silly to have left or lying around. So I'll venture on over this way. Consulting room number five. Very, very airy. I like that. Wow, I genuinely think people have broken in here and stolen the rest of the EpiPens. Wow, oh, breathing tube. Absolutely scandalous what people do. Alcohol gel, umbrellas, stools. Kitchen with a hat toilet. Actually, this would have been a sample room. So obviously, if you needed a stool sample, for example, you would have ventured on into here. Then your bed. And then passed it on through that good old portable hatch. Nice. Treatment. The defrib is in there. No doubt that's been stolen. Because absolute rat bastards. Alcohol. I have a feeling I might only get the ground floor done in here. Because of the time of day. Floor consultant rooms. Uh, with the time of day, there's people about constantly. So I may be unfortunate enough to have to leave fairly sharpish. Not that I want to, I want to get a full explore. As you can imagine in this place, I did want to come at night, but on my own, I've got balls, but they're not that big. There's not a chance in hell I would be caught in here on my own in the night time. Just silly. An examination room. Sure, and oh, a shopping trolley. Ah. More broken things. Another examination room, number two. Again, we've just got destruction everywhere. It really, really is a shame. We're going to help people breathe. Hmm, ample food. I'll take a bit of a spoon. Oh wow. So these were all tubes for asthma. All for people suffering with a lung disease. And they've stolen them. No wonder Manchester has got such a great rep, eh? extremely easy on the nerves at this time of day, um, night time, again, like I said, it's not happening. Doing it on my own is quite weird because I'm having to leave the camera in regards to where I'm walking. Now I think to find my way up to the next floor. This is the main building, where it stairs. Where we're going now is into the main That's just water. Fuck. So yeah, where we are going used to be a country house. And then through victims of World War One, they built this hospital 
in commemoration to their memories and souls. There is a lot of history steeped here. Let's be sure the young Curtis was born in this hospital. Now that's a serious bit of history for Manchester right there. What a guy, what a legend. Houses over the road. I'm currently standing in what was the original manor house. This was just a standard house, and the hospital was built to commemorate everybody from World War One. It was a very, very nice run establishment. Um, over the years. NHS getting tighter and tighter, struggling more and more, it has now resulted in it being abandoned. It did a great, great job. So, making my way back down, really, really damp stairs. Beautiful ceiling. Somebody was in here with me then. Holy shit. Right, what I'm gonna do is quickly cover this side of the building and get the fuck out of Dodge.
where I was going to try to get in initially, but all of the windows were boarded properly. I'm quite lucky with what I managed to find. I'm still absolutely shitting myself. Turn this light off because we've got a lot of daylight up here. Which is just what we need. Sweet, let's go from them houses. Maybe old service elevator for the patients. Ooh. Roof access. Don't think I'll be needing that today. So bedroom one, so I'm guessing this would have been eternity. That's just me there. It's going to be a very quick escape job. Ooh, is that a bath bathroom? Oh, I thought that would have been a birthing bath. But it may be, it may not be. We can only tell. I can only imagine this was... No, it would still have just been a room for people suffering. What did we get? Me go in here. How many people would have been born in here? How many people would have been given good news? How many would have been given bad news? There's just so much history steeped within it. How long it would have been in use for it to come to an untimely demise such as this. It's a shame. It's a real, real big shame. <sighs> it doesn't help that all people want to do when something gets abandoned is absolutely trash it. There's just no need. Maybe if people were less intent on destruction, there may be a few more places that you could get into instead of them being totally boarded up, cased in security. Understand the security, because places are dangerous. Oh. Oh, why the hell would you want to go and explore the, the sluice? No, thank you. We'll leave that one to somebody else. Now we'll go down these stairs. And then it's going to be time to make our way back out. Hopefully I don't get rumbled here. No. How is this again? That was my point of entry into the grounds. Whew. Going back into the darkness. The old fire escape. Which is very securely boarded up. very on edge. So this is just going to be the exit. I don't, oh no, I don't remember coming through here because I didn't. Toilets everywhere. Well, this is the most pristine building, room in the building. Back. 
where we began. So we're just having a quick, just on a quick wander around now, just get a few pictures of the building. This shouldn't cause too many issues, I hope. Especially compared to being inside. So I've just dropped a message to the homeboy to give me a ride. And someone's been here. Because if I shut that gate, I open that gate for it. And it's been locked again. So this is the front of the old hospital. my lift to arrive. There's so many cars that come through and around here. It's catching it at the right time. Because we know that people obviously come in and out of this building. But still don't want to get caught do you? Got quite a nice day for this. Sweating. Quite hot, quite sticky. Shouldn't really really worn a long sleeve top should I? Not full ninja mode, but hey, don't want to camp. So, the ride's on his way. If you enjoyed this video today, give it a like, subscribe, share, the usual stuff. Catch you around. Easy, yeah. Away we go. Right.